The wildlife trade in Asia is big business, accounting for more than $7 billion in profits in China alone, according to leading wildlife conservation and environmental groups. But the trade and consumption of wild animals has also become a global threat, as zoonotic diseases, meaning the transfer of viruses from animal to human, are increasing. Most experts are calling for a ban on the trade and consumption of wild animals. We're not talking about banning deer or duck hunting. We're talking about ending the global commercial trade in wild animals. This COVID-19 started in a wildlife market in Wuhan, China. The Chinese know it. That's why they closed that market, closed all markets across the country, and have banned wildlife trade and wildlife consumption. Asia's appetite for eating pangolins and other wildlife has led to several virus outbreaks in the early 2000s, including the SARS pandemic. Transmission was believed to have occurred from bats to pangolins and civet cats before leaping onward to humans. None of the past animal-borne diseases have been as widespread as COVID-19, but doctors are hoping new technology will help in developing vaccinations. This pandemic is spreading faster right now, but we also have better and faster communication in the era of big data on a real timeline that is helping develop our newer biotechnology. In China's neighboring countries such as Myanmar, wildlife hunting is a tradition providing food and revenue for local families. But as development increases into the rural areas, the threat of wildlife trafficking conflicts with traditional norms practiced by the local population. This is our lifestyle. We have no idea about the virus or the disease. It's not our main priority. If they shut down the wildlife hunting, it's going to be tough for us to find food. And we won't have food to feed our children because we live in the jungle. As China begins easing restrictions in former COVID-19 hotbeds, Conservation groups say they will continue applying pressure to permanently eliminate the wildlife trade and the deadly viruses that come with it. Steve Sanford for VOA News in Krabi, Thailand.